Hi there. Now in this question, we're asked to find the general solution of the differential equation x times dy dx plus 5y equals the natural log of x all divided by x, where x is greater than 0. And we've got to give the answer in the form y equals f of x. So as usual, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Have a go. When you're ready, come back and you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So how do we do something like this? Well, first of all, you've got to be able to spot that this has got this particular format. Or that's the format that we're going to head towards. That is dy dx plus p times y equals q, where p and q are functions of x. And if that's the case, then this is our general solution. We have this integrating factor e to the integral p dx that we need to work out. So to get this in this particular format, what we do, we'll take the equation and we'll divide throughout by x. So I'll just copy the equation down first of all. We've got x dy by dx then plus 5y equals the natural log of x divided by x. So to get it in this form, we need to divide by the x. So dividing through by x is going to give me dy by dx plus 5 over x times y equals the natural log of x all divided by x squared. So we need to get the integrating factor e to the integral p dx. Well p is going to be 5 over x. And so if we just put, therefore, the integrating factor, we'll just abbreviate that to if, that's going to be equal to e to the integral of p dx, p being 5 over x. So that's what we've got there, e to the integral 5 over x dx. Now if you integrate 5 over x, it's 5 times the natural log of x. So this is going to be equal to e to the power 5 natural log of x. Now to simplify this, what we do is we get rid of the 5 in front of the natural log of x. This is the same then as e to the power natural log of x to the power 5, using the power rule for logs then. Now you've got e to the natural log of something, and we should know that this is exactly the same then as x to the power 5. So now we've worked out e to the integral p dx, okay, we can substitute it into this equation here. And so therefore what we've got is y x to the power 5 for this part here equals the integral of q. Now q, remember, was natural log of x over x squared. So we've got the natural log of x all divided by x squared. And then this is multiplied by our integrating factor e to the integral p dx, which is x to the power 5. And we're integrating this with respect to x. So this tidies up. We've got the integral then of x cubed, x squared into x to the 5 goes x cubed. We'll put that first as x cubed. Then we've got the natural log of x, and we're integrating that with respect to x. Now if I border this off, then what we've got is this term here, which I'm going to reverse around as x to the power 5y, OK? And then it equals this integral. Now, to integrate this, we need to do it by integration by parts. So I'm assuming you're familiar with that, where we take this part, first of all, the natural log of x, and we multiply this by the integral of this part here. So that's going to be x to the power 4 over 4. And then we subtract the integral of what we've just integrated, which was this part, x to the power 4 over 4. 
and we multiply it by the differential of this part, the natural log of x, which is going to be 1 over x. And we integrate this all with respect to x. So just cleaning this up, first of all, this term here would look better as x to the power 4 over 4 multiplied by the natural log of x. Well, for this part here, x cancels into x to the power 4, giving me x cubed, and I can take out the quarter out the front of the integral. So I've got the integral then of x cubed with respect to x. And all I need to do now is just integrate the last term. So I'll copy out the first term here, x to the 4 multiplied by the natural log of x. And if I integrate x cubed now, it's going to be x to the power 4 over 4. Multiply it with the minus a quarter, and you get minus x to the power 4 over 16. And then I've got my constant of integration, which I'll call plus c. Now we're asked to give the answer in the form y equals some function of x. So I need to divide both sides by x to the power 5. And if I do that, I'm just left with y equals the natural log of x then over 4x. For this term, this is going to be minus 1 over 16x. And then we've got the constant, which is divided by x to the power 5. And there you have it. Okay?